So in this lecture, we're going to talk about Lewis structures. Now, Lewis structures are simply shortcut depictions of electrons surrounding our atoms or molecules. So let's begin with examples. So let's suppose we have this fluorine atom. Now, a neutral fluorine atom has nine protons and nine electrons. And the electron configuration of our fluorine atom is as follows. Two electrons will go into the 1s orbital, two electrons will go into the 2s orbital, two electrons will go into the 2px, two electrons will go into the 2py, and one electron will go into the 2pz. So we have a total of 2, 2, 2, 2, and 1, 9 electrons. So, if we were to actually draw out the atomic orbitals of our fluorine atom, we would get the following picture. So, Within this picture, our 1s orbital is found within our 2s orbital, so I did not draw it. But this circular sphere here is our 2s orbital, so we're placing two electrons within this 2s orbital, shown here. Now, we have the 2px orbital, shown here. We have the 2py orbital shown here, and the 2pz orbital shown here coming out of the board and going into the board. So, this is the full depiction of the atomic orbitals of fluorine. Now, this is very tedious and it will take a long time to draw out when you're solving problems. So, that's why the Lewis structure method was developed. And what we do in the Lewis structure method is the following. We only worry about the valence electrons. The valence electrons are the electrons found in the outermost subshell. And this is this guy here. So, this n equals 2 principal number will include all these electrons here. So that's 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 1. That's 7 electrons in the valence shell, in the valence electron shell. So, that means we only include these guys, and these 1s you could think of as being inside the fluorine, so they're not depicted. So we only worry about these guys. So 2 will go into the 2s, so 2 here. 2 will go into the 2px, 2 go here. 2 go into the 2py, which go here. And 1 goes into here. Now notice it doesn't really matter. I could have took one away from here and placed one on the bottom as long as I have two, two, and a two, and a one in any arrangement I will have the Lewis structure for, uh, for fluorine. Now the same thing could be said for oxygen. So oxygen has eight protons and that means a neutral oxygen has eight electrons. So let's once again draw our electron configuration for oxygen. So, we have 1s, so two electrons go into the 1s. We have 2s, two electrons go into the 2s. We have 2px and 2py and 2pz. So two go in here, one goes in here, and one goes in the last 2pz. Now once again, we draw out the full atomic orbital picture for our oxygen. So, 2 go into the 1s, which we did not draw because it's within our 2s. So, 2 go into the 2s, so here's our sphere, 2 go inside the 2s. 2 go into the 2px, so 2 go into the 2px. 1 goes into 2py, so 1 goes into this one. And finally, 1 goes into the 2pz. So, once again, this took a lot of time. There's a shortcut method now that we know, the Lewis structure method. And so, we draw an oxygen atom, so the O here. We pretend that we put two electrons inside the oxygen, which means we put the two, ele two um, 1s electrons inside the oxygen. And now we only worry about our valence electrons, the outermost electrons. And so, we need to place two electrons that represent the 2s. So, you could either place them here, here or here or here. I place them, say, here. Now we have the 2px, so I place them here. Now I have the 2py, I placed one here, 
and two PZ I place one here. Now once again it does not matter where I place this electron pair. I could place this electron pair here and I could place this one here and I could switch them around in any way I want to as long as I have one pair, one pair and, a, and two singles. So this is my depiction for oxygen. So Lewis structure for fluorine and Lewis structure for oxygen. Now I could also draw Lewis structures for molecules. So suppose I have two fluorine atoms, so I take these two fluorine atoms, so two of them, and they interact with one another to form a diatomic fluoride. Now, what that basically means is that two of these guys will orient in a way such that these two single electrons will interact and they will form a covalent bond in which there is a sharing of electrons. So that means this electron will be donated to this orbital and this electron will be donated to this orbital. So two fluorines will interact to form an electron configuration of the nearest noble gas. The nearest noble gas is neon. Neon has 10 protons and 10 electrons, while fluorine has, or a single fluorine, has 9 electrons and 9 protons. So, since one of the fluorine will donate an electron to this guy, this will gain one electron, so this will gain 10 elect or will have 10 electrons, and it will form electron configuration of our neon noble gas, and likewise, the same story for this fluorine. And once again, this picture can be depicted in a shortcut way using this fluorine or Lewis structure depiction for fluorine. So once again, two electrons here, here, and here, like we drew here. So this represents the 1s, this the 2px, the 2py, and the 2pz. So we orient them, and these electrons are shared. And so now we should actually redraw these guys because since there's a sharing of electrons, they should draw, we should draw them like this. So that now each one has eight electrons as the valence electrons plus two 1s electrons. So each guy has 10 electrons and that means each guy has, each fluorine has, a, uh, has achieved electron configuration of a noble gas. Now this is the same thing as writing this guy. Now, this is even a sh more shortcut method because now we don't have to add these electrons on the outside. We kind of assume that they are there, but we don't draw them. What we, drew, what we do draw is this line here. This line simply means that there is an equal sharing of electrons. And this can uh, further be depicted by simply writing F2. And this simply means that there are two fluorine atoms and they're interacting in an equivalent way. So they're sharing these two electrons. So this same exact method can be written for oxygen. When two oxygen atoms interact, they form a double bond and these guys are both shared equally so they form the electron configuration of neon just like fluorine does.